Will you comfortable, Cameron? Yes, thanks. Have you seen the flat? Yes. And you like it? Yes, it's great. What on earth could make you think we'd want to share a flat like this with someone like you? <laughs> You must be Hugo. And you must be Juliet. Can you open your door? It's us, your flatmates and companions, your newfound friends. I've never seen a dead body before. I saw my grandmother, of course, but I don't suppose that counts. I mean, she was alive at the time. It's not every day I find a story in my own flat. It's not a story, Alex. It's a corpse. Can I show you something? It's a sick idea, Alex. It's sick. Go ahead, then. Telephone the police. Tell them there's a suitcase full of money and you don't want it. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's talk about disposal. Who's going to do it? We all are, David. We're all going to do it. Each of us. You, me and Juliet. I don't think I can. But Juliet, you're a doctor. You kill people every day. Is this necessary? I can't do it. Do you want to play or not? I know you well enough. Oh, you think so? We don't know how much it cost us yet. Let's spend some money. For you two to have a good time, we don't know the cost of that yet. You're frightened. I'm not frightened. Yeah. I'm a little terrified, maybe. <laughs> They went there alive and they came back down dead. Did you notice that? The difference, I mean, alive, dead, dead, alive, that sort of thing. It wasn't difficult to spot. <laughs>